It's time. Get over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm just on my way. <sighs> Hey, hey, David, I had to leave my car. It's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No, no, I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time, just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried? You fucking tried? <laughs> Everyone's here. They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. ¿Dónde está Javier? ¿Dónde está mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? I'm sorry. Okay? David, Jesus, I... Sorry isn't bringing him back. You selfish fuck. Uncle Javi? Why, why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. What's going on? We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. You think I was jealous of you. No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count on, on it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? 
I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. Keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Go take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I don't know. Mariana, on the stars. Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey, we have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. Man, I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. Damn it, I 
I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. Hey, you're the one with the notebook. I leave that decision to you. Cool. Awesome. Because I was just using this thing to sketch in. Was I supposed to be writing something down? We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. All right, just, you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Yeah. Okay, sure. <coughs> we are setting an awesome example. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, you know, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least you'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Ugh. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Look, I didn't sign up for this either. Sometimes life decides for you. That sounded deep, didn't it? <laughs> uh, no. No, it didn't. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. Oh, yeah. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? Sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. Oh, I can pull over. It wouldn't take a minute. <sighs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. Hmm. Uh, what's that smell? That's gross. Hey! Mariana, I... I think we uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my God. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop.
You praying for our safety, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. You heard the crowd. Please, God, let there be candy bars. Amen. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. <gasps> Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. Well, that makes two of us. But we're stuck with him, so... At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but... The batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. <laughs> you... You sneaky little... <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble... You can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Waste oil. No use to us. Okay. Now I'm sorry I did that. to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. Not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. There's one they never took to pieces. 
Good catch. locked. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. At least it had some gas. Looks pretty picked over. Shit! Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. Might be able to get in through the hatch. a long time ago. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. Kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Oh, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets. Someone else's mattress someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Well, you gotta admit, it's kinda cozy in here. 
The van is cozy. This is creepy. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! Kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> just in case. Cool. You can have your own. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You're cool to me. Wow. That means so much, really. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. What the fuck you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Well, it's not like I saw your name on it. Don't fucking test me, boy. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. Look, don't worry about them. They took off and then they're not coming back. Just up and left you, huh? <laughs> Fan out look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. You assholes in there! I got your boy! If you don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Don't fuck around! had a real face time. You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. I ate all those. Yeah, me. You? By yourself? Now, yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. You got a real smart mouth. You fucking watch what you say. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight, so let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Come on, man, what else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? 
Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. Ah! Guys, get the fuck in here! Holy shit! Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. There's gotta be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just s stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Put it back. Now. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. 
I need to get back to them. We were attacked, and I don't... I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Hey, that's fine with me. I don't trust you either. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. I didn't even shoot the guy who had me tied up. But I know you thought about it. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Yeah. Well, it shows. Meaning what? Meaning you could sure use a dust-up on those people skills. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Gabe and Mariana are tough kids. They learned how to survive on their own. You seem to know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! <sighs> there! Get to the gate!
damn it, Francine, one of these days those doors are going to close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure, you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know... It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call, or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. I don't really gamble anymore. Went all in on the wrong hand once. <laughs> it's okay, hon. I got this one. Raise. Moment of truth. Flip them. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Oh, hell yeah! Nice! Oh, calm down, both of you. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me! I'm talking to you! Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off! 
I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are going to have a little talk. I'm telling you, he stop. was... Stop. Just stop talking. And you... Thanks for being straight with me. Go find Eleanor. She'll fix you up. Till her trip sent you. Now move it. All right, all right. Here you go. Try and get some rest, okay? Thanks, Eleanor. Ugh, that looks like a nasty cut. Oh, that must have hurt. Well, you've come to the right place. I've had a lot worse, believe me. Have a seat. I'll take a look. My name's Eleanor. Javier. You call me Javi. A little lower and you might have lost an eye. And that is not something you want to mess around with. That's exactly why I keep a spare, right? Just in case. You know, I, I bet I'd look pretty badass with an eye patch. Hey, don't joke. So, I have to ask, is it true? What's that? I heard you were with that girl, Clementine. You put a bullet in some guy's brain over in the hangar. Don't act so surprised. News travels fast around here. Yeah, you heard right. That was me. Nothing like making new friends, huh? Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <sighs> I've never understood it. Yeah? Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. Look, I know you didn't pull the trigger. But that girl, Clementine, there's something cold behind her eyes. I don't know. Huh. I kind of like her style. She doesn't take any shit. She does what the hell she wants. And yeah, she's a free spirit. Yeah, well, she's a wounded soldier if you ask me. Well, right now I need her. She's helping me find my family. We were attacked earlier this evening. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. For family to make it this far? Not everybody gets that. I'm the one who's lucky. 
I'm not sure I'd have made it this long without the three of them. Hang in there. You're gonna find them. <laughs> Let go of me! There you go. Trip, what's going on? Clementine and I had a little talk. He's letting us leave once the herd passes. Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna hightail you two to that junkyard myself. Because frankly, I don't want her anywhere near this town. We'll leave sometime tomorrow, when it's safe. You two can spend the night here in the infirmary. I'll see you in the morning. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight, all three of us. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? When you do that for me? Us pretty troublemakers have to stick together, right? God, gross. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Huh. Never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, I still trust Trip more than I trust her. But hey, it's your call. Once we get to the junkyard, I get my van and we go our separate ways. We're leaving tonight with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. You know, when you're out on your own, you can never really let your guard down. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. Our deal doesn't include me lying for you. You attacked him, and then you murdered him. I didn't mean to. I had no idea the gun would go off. <gasps> Just goes to show you. You can never really count on anyone else. Clementine, I... I'm done talking. The doctor lady said she'd be a while, and I want to catch as much sleep as I can. Good night. Draw in there, goofball. Can I see? <sighs> you know I'm no good at this game, but I'll try to guess what it is. Just give me a second. I'll figure it out. Is it a picture of you? It's me? <sighs> it looks just like me. Come on, can you say Clem, AJ? Give it a try. Clem. Not much of a talker, are you, goofball? Edith says you should be speaking by now, but... Don't worry about it. You'll talk when you're ready. That was weird. Clem, open up. It's me. Edith, what's wrong? The group from last week. They're back. And now they're armed. This is bad, Clem. There's a lot of them. Too many of them. I, I don't like the looks of it. How bad is bad? Pack your stuff and be ready to run bad. They got a lot of cars and they're seriously pissed off. This is gonna get ugly. I know it. And pack your stuff. When I get back, we gotta get the hell out. Shit, shit, shit. Very essentials. Come on. We fucking begged you, man! Our people are sick and starving! It didn't have to be this way. You could have just given us some grub, some medicine, that's it. This is your fault. Y'all are just hoarding it for your fucking selves. Horseshit! If you don't have nothing, why are y'all hiding behind such huge fucking walls? 
Clem! Clem! They're inside! We have to go now! Sun's up. <sighs> Chip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Chip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Relationships can change pretty fast, and they're never not complicated. Sounds like you've got something on your mind. Or someone. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? in and don't come out not even once it's quiet it kept running through my head like on a loop you did exactly what you should have done i always knew you were a smart kid thanks it was scary at first but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore they just passed by kate and your brother where are they we got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van and that's where we're headed let's go get your brother back sweetie Oh, no. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Ariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots. He's right. We fired the truck. We might hit them. Gross. 
Come on. I think we get a pass. <sighs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ah, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? Eh, don't get your hopes up too high. It's a nice place, but it's not the Ritz. Well, whatever they've got, I'm sure it's gonna be great. You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Guess I'm a lucky guy. The luckiest. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. shooting again. I can't leave her like this. I won't. That's not gonna bring her back, Javi. Now get up. We can't wait anymore. We stay here and we finish this. Are you crazy? We have to go now. I've already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No, uh, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please. Me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi. Please come with us. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. I need your help, Gabe. 
Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. 